In these innocent-looking buildings of the authentic Project D in Besheba starts the legend of the two most successful twin sisters of Middle Eastern music. This is a story about love and jealousy, failure and success, a story about music, politics and spicy fish. This is the unbelievable story of Zahava and Etty. Hello, Ron and the staff. This is Simon Bell bringing you the true story of the La La Land stars. Born only five minutes apart, the identical twins were inseparable. Even Aziza, their beloved mother, got confused sometimes and fed the same baby twice. Their childhood was not an easy one. Twelve souls in a small house. But in this traditional Moroccan family, music was always the source of joy. Their father, the late Simon, was a Moroccan musician, and Zahava was the first to follow in his footsteps. From an extremely young age, she started to perform in family events such as Hina parties. <laughs> In 1989, Zahava's debut album, A Drop of Luck, is released. Overnight, she becomes one of the leading female singers in Israel. The success doubles when the film by the same title premieres. Zahava stars as herself next to Israel's acting legend, Wolf Prophet. The hit film exposed Zahava not only as a great singer, but also as a top-rate actress. Makara. In 1993, Zahava asks Etty to sing with her on the Kadam Eurovision Song Contest. Unfortunately, this video is outrageously expensive to retrieve. Despite the duo's arrival to the esteemed last place, that unforgettable performance will be the birth moment of Etty the Singer. Later that year, the manager and social activist Israel Bundak takes Etty under his wings. With him, she releases her first album of 20 and establishes her status as a standalone singer. Etty is a very good thing. And if she was born in 1989, before Zahava, it would be possible that we would be talking about Etty Levy and not Zahava Ben. In the early 90s, Zahava takes on a huge challenge. She steps into the giant shoes of Egyptian legend Um Kultum and records her own version of the masterpiece Inta Omri. Overnight, she overcomes the barrier of borders and becomes an idol in the Arab world. She was born in the Arab world, and she was the first of all of Israel in those years. She was the first of all of Israel in the Arab world. Eti plows her way into the Arab world with a completely different song. Despite the commercial success, the relationship between Zahava and Eti hits a glacier. מערכת היחסים בין זהבה בן לאתי לוי היא מערכת יחסים מאוד מאוד מורכבת, שידע עליות, ירידות מאוד מאוד קיצוניות. אף אחד בסופו של דבר לא באמת יודע מה קורה ומה קרה בין שתי החיות האלה שכבר עשרים שנה היחסים שלהם און ואוף. The contending sister even takes on some extensive makeovers in order not to resemble Lady Z. In 1996, and the state of Israel is in political chaos, following Prime Minister Rabin's murder. In a disputed step, Zahava participates in the election campaign of the left-wing party, Energy. <laughs> e 
Betty steps up to the plate as well and becomes the protest singer of the people. הזמרת אתי לוי יוצאת בימים אלו בסדרה של אלבומים חדשים אשר יעסקו בנושאים חברתיים. העשירון העליון מרגיש שיגעון, הוא תמיד תמיד למעלה. המציאות סביבי כל כך קשה, הנחת המובטלים. צאו בהמוניכם ותעשו הפגנות. Both sisters also strike success in film festivals. Sahava stars in a documentary about her special intimate story, Lone Star. Etty wins second place in the music video competition at the prestigious Iver Film Festival. Etty gets married and divorces after a year. Zahafa marries also and does it live on Channel 2. The wedding is a ratings record breaker with the participation of all the who's who of Israel. I but then Zahava's marriage also hits a rock, and she divorces and devotes herself to her only son, Ben Ben. Like any self respecting diva, Zahava experiences a difficult personal time. An expensive divorce and dubious financial management leaves her broke. But Zahava is not abandoned. Many leading singers create a special charity event for her. There were two shows at the time, and two shows were sold out. There were all the big names of the music of Israel. They collect a lot of money, but unfortunately, it is stolen before it reaches her. No one has lost the money. Where has it lost? I don't know. 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 As the relationship between the sisters deteriorates, a reconciliation attempt is made by a famous Hummus brand. Fortunately, it doesn't last long. Today, Zahava is ready for the comeback of a lifetime. Under new management of the experienced Ramalite agent Meir Nakmani, she was crowned Best Oriental Singer of All Times by Rating Magazine. Now, Zahava travels to LA, only to find out that her twin sister awaits her there. Will they let their talents soar and hit new highs? Or is it only one of them that has what it takes?